everyone, ML here, and you're watching Newsbreak. Let's see what's coming up on today's show. No trees for pet pics. Marcus Rashford gets a top award. And we chat to Sam Kerr about all things soccer. But before we do that, today is a Wednesday, and Wednesday's a great day to hit subscribe if you haven't already. If you've been on Instagram lately, you might have seen a lot of these. About 5 million people took part in a campaign that promised to plant trees in exchange for pet pics. But it hasn't worked out so well. Here's Leela. Yes, this viral campaign got people all over the world excited when a mysterious poster offered to plant a tree for every pet photo shared using the new add yours function on Instagram. Who are you? Are you really going to plant those trees? Ah well, here's a picture. I wasn't the only one. More than 4 million people shared their pet photos without knowing who was behind it. Then an organisation called Plant a Tree Co fessed up, saying they deleted the post 10 minutes after it went up. They say they took it down so quickly because they realised they didn't have the capabilities and resources to plant 4 million trees. Never, ever overpromise. Plant a Tree Co itself is a little mysterious. They sell necklaces and say it pays for planting trees. And some say it has a bit of a history of jumping on board causes. So is this more about publicity than about trees? The organisation have now asked Instagram to help them plant 4 million trees and have started a fundraiser aiming to raise $1.3 million for an organisation called Trees for the Future. So hopefully, maybe, some actual trees will end up getting planted. Although I guess there's only one way to be sure of that. Nobel Prize winner Malala Yousafzai has gotten married. Congrats, Malala. Malala became famous as a campaigner for girls' education in her home country of Pakistan. When she was 15, she survived an attack by the Taliban before becoming the world's youngest ever Nobel Peace Prize winner at 17. Now, the 24-year-old has celebrated what she described as a precious day in her life as she married her partner in Birmingham in the UK. Manchester United star Marcus Rashford has been awarded one of the UK's highest honours. He was handed an MBE, which stands for Most Excellent Order of the British Empire, for his work fighting kids' poverty. During the pandemic, he helped to provide millions of meals to kids who were no longer getting free school lunches. He says he's dedicating the award to his mum, who's also an anti-poverty campaigner. Speaking of soccer superstars, Aussie Sam Kerr has rooted two goals in a whopping 7-0 win in the Women's Champions League. And Kayla was lucky enough to catch up with her to talk about all things soccer and her new kids book, Kicking Goals. Check it out. She is arguably the greatest soccer player on the planet. And I got to speak to her. Hey. How hey. you going? Good, how are you? Are you able to talk yourself up a lot? and tell us some of your biggest accomplishments? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not one to talk myself up, but I played for Chelsea. Just made my 100 cap for the national team, which is probably one of my proudest moments. Yeah, I've travelled the world, played football a lot, and scored a, a few goals. Spill. Kurt, goal! Why did you want to write a book for kids? Growing up, I didn't really have a book that I wanted to pick up. So for me, I just wanted to write something that kids, whoever they watch on TV, someone or an athlete that they look up to, that they can read about and relate to and hopefully see themselves in the book. And Kurt Patrick. My family's in the book, my dog's in the book, my cousin's in the book. It's about my life, really, my journey to where I am today. The challenges I face kind of being a young girl playing with the boys and then my move from AFL to soccer. Do you have just like an overall message for, for kids? I think athletes nowadays get put on a pedestal and um, people think they're these out of reach, out of mind people that do crazy stuff. But I was just like them one day. I really think that anyone has the ability to do what they want. Now the big news stories are done for the day. It's time to scale things down. For some little stories. First up to Little Amel. Wait, that's not me, and she's huge. Turns out Little Amel is actually an enormous puppet who represents a Syrian refugee. And now she's arrived at the COP26 Climate Summit to raise awareness about how refugee kids are affected by climate change. Meanwhile, Israel has a little pelican problem. Wait, that's not little either. 
about 45,000 of the big birds have dropped in on their annual southern migration, which isn't great for local fish farmers who've been losing stock. So authorities have stocked up this reservoir with a lot of fish to feed the hungry travellers. And finally, to something that's actually little, a stamp. Although its value is enormous. This British Guiana one cent magenta sold recently for $11 million. Only a few were issued back in 1856 in British Guiana. And only one is known to still exist. This one. We'll have some more big news for you tomorrow. Bye.